as we all probably know, uh, M19, my Core Set 19 is about to rotate out of being our primary format. This is going to be our farewell draft to M19. Yeah, there, guys. Sorry for the interruption to the normal video. I just wanted to drop a quick message in regards to a giveaway that is happening on the 26th slash 27th of September. Now, if you're watching it past that date, or if you don't care about giveaways, the timestamp for when the actual video starts will be here. Yeah. So jump forward and, and skip this to uh, check that out. But for those of you who are interested, uh, as you may know, I've been tweeting about it a lot, there is an event coming up very soon on that date, 26th and 27th of September, for a whole bunch of streamers, including myself. There's about 350 of us who uh, have been invited by Wizards of the Coast to participate in an event where we're going to get full access accounts with all of the Guilds of Ravnica cards. This is a couple of days before pre-release. Uh, we're going to get the chance to build decks. I believe it's going to be limited. Uh, and we're going to be able to play against other streamers on a absolute early access account. It's going to be fantastic. We're really going to try out some cool new brews, try random things, hopefully have some fun with it. Um, I'm going to be streaming as much as possible, so not just my normal couple of hours and weekends we do. Uh, we're going to be pulling our guts out to, uh, to try and get as much content out for you guys as possible. Hopefully you can come join me over at twitch.tv forward slash AP numbers for that. In relation to that, unaffiliated with Wizards, so this is not sponsored by Wizards, it's not sponsored by CFB, it's not sponsored by Hasbro, Twitch, YouTube, anybody except me, myself, and I decided to do this for, for the period of time that the event is happening, the 24 hour period. Um, I will be running a giveaway which will go up through Gleam. Normal entry process, you can, you'll have options to follow on Twitter, be subscribed on YouTube, follow on Twitch and some bonus entries for those of you who choose to subscribe on Twitch for your $5 or for your free Prime sub if that comes available to you. Um, and basically you get the chance to win a few prizes. I'm gonna be giving away one of my play mats that I have lying around. I've got a, I think it's Oketra's final something, GP Las Vegas, I think it's pretty sweet that one. I've also got a Cancel from GP Sacramento, and I've got a, the Merfolk guy from GP Sydney. Uh, these ones I've got lying around, so for the giveaway, for the lucky winner, I'll give away their choice of this playmat. I'll chuck in some Guilds of Ravnica pack, I'll go buy them from the shop once I can, uh, and I'll even throw in a handful of signed cards, just because why not, maybe they'll be worth something one day. Now, if I do happen to reach above 10 subscribers over on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv MP numbers, um, I will add a second winner to the pot. I will give the second chance, the whole prize over twice. Uh, I'll chuck some time zones through the stream is gonna be happening, but I'm gonna be on as much as possible. I'm gonna be going live when the event starts, which I believe is 8 a.m. PST, 1 a.m. Thursday morning in Australia, Eastern, um, and you can work it out from there. I'll check a link with a countdown timer in the uh, in the description so you can check out when you wanna see me, or if you just follow, you'll get the alert when I go live, and I'll be on Twitter. Um, make sure to, to enter the giveaway. It's gonna go live when the event goes live and be drawn when the event finishes. So if you wanna enter, make sure you're following me on Twitter and I'll be tweeting and retweeting my own tweets because that's what the cool kids do. Um, and I will be, if you go to my Twitch chat on the day, exclamation mark giveaway, the bot will tell you, the give you the link, give you the exact details. That was a bit of a mouthful. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you watch any more of my videos this week, you may see this message again. But look, have a great day and uh, chuck in some comments if you want to chat with me. All right, and our rare is pretty much the worst rare in the set. Uh, it's it's mostly unplayable. So we've got a couple of options here. We've got a couple of options here. Let's start at the top. We've got Meteor Golem. It's, it's really expensive. You're not first picking it. Psychic Corrosion, I'm kind of tempted. To, I haven't done the Psychic Corrosion thing yet, so I'm tempted to see maybe we take it. Maybe we, we try and do some blue mill fun stuff. Uh, Volley Veteran is our goblin payoff, I guess you will. Age of the Dawn's solid in any white aggro deck, as is Bogot Brutes, a great red card. Uh, Dwindle's fine. Shape is good, totally lost is fine. So at this point for me, it's probably gonna be between Psychic Corrosion and Angel of the Dawn. I think, I think I wanna do it. I haven't, I haven't done this. Mm. All right, let's, let's YOLO it. It's a friendly league, we're gonna have some fun with it. See if we can find some sweet milk strategies here. What do we got? 
Sire Thrust or Thoptress is a 1 4. Whenever you cast the artifact spell, create a Thoptress, sacrifice to artifacts, draw a card. Maybe. Hyromancer's Cage is sweet. Poison Tip Arch is sweet. Electrify is great. Geese's Guardian is good. Omen Speaker and Instigator are great. Um, at this point, I'm like these three. I, I could try and force this blue deck to wait to draw cards, you know. Hyromancer's Cage, obviously just a solid white card, and then Poison Tip Archer, off colour, but a fantastic card in itself. I think I think this is going to be one of those ones where I want to go deep. I think I want to push in to do dirtily, card drawery nonsense. So we've got like blue artifacts kind of thing. Green Seeker's a good card. So whenever you cast an artifact spell, okay. I was going to say, if it, if it was whenever an artifact enters the play, Pioneer would be good. But it's not, so it's not. We're looking at ways to draw cards. Looking for ways to draw cards. This is pack is pretty pretty good. Green Seek is a great card. Lightning Mare's fine. Pioneer is fine. Electrify is good. Shocks as soon as good electrify. Strangling Spore is also good. Um kinda wanna take Electrify here, I guess. Kind of like Electrify, Spores, or Dryad Green Seeker, all different colours, or the Pioneer to stay on colour. Shit, in time. Um, let's take the Electrify. Scholar of the Stars, I mean, if, if I can get artifacts, put a charge counter. Remove charge counters, take an extra turn. That's a bit that's a bit too dirtily for my likes. Kinda of wanna take the scholar here and then just like force crappy artifacts. I mean scholar should come back though, right? Maybe I want just a blocker here. Could also take so this this pack compared to the last pack, this pack's pretty trash. Wolves is probably the best card, bristling boron, gift. The green's pretty good here. But we, we're, we're going dirtily. We're, we're forcing, we're, we're being weird here. Um, hopefully we can have some fun with it. No, I said it's So pretty much I want to take anything that's blue and says draw cards. That's kind of my goal right now. Punished. Cancel bonds. Invoke. Let me take care. This deck's going to be terrible, by the way. Right, let's take. Let's take Luminous Bonds. I don't know where we are, what colours we're going to be here. Another Psychic Courage. Okay, that's what we wanted to see. Having two of these, like if we can get like a handful of these, then we're just kind of doing it. Uh, there are obviously a lot of good cards in this pack again Stag, Anticipate, Caress. But yeah, we're taking the corrosion here. We, we're going deep on this corrosion plan. Divination is perfect for this this plan. Splice of Apparatus is a artifact. For Psy, we want artifacts. In saying that, we don't have to play Psy. So, it's not a... Uh, we're not locked to that, right? I'm just trying to land. White, to, white and black are a good. White and blue are a good pair. So let's take the land. Hey, we might not play it. All right, back to our first pack here. Um, take the. It's kind of like Dwindle versus Salvager for me right now. <laughs> Let's take Dwindle, just because we don't have that many instances of sorceries yet. Omen Speak is a good way to set up top of our deck. And this is like, basically, these are the cards I know I want to play. These are the cards that work well if we get artifacts. 
and then these are what we're splashing, what we're, what we're playing otherwise, depending on which way we want to go. This pack's a blank to get lightning mirror. All right, we'll take field creeper here as an artifact. Scepter just, I don't, I just, I can't justify taking scepter ever, ever, ever. Again, field creeper, a terrible card, but if we've got these two and we're trying to draw more cards, then it's exactly what we want. Uh, probably not this guy, right? Put him over here. couple of just like decent artifacts. I know the artifacts, like one of the issues was that the artifacts aren't really pushed enough. Anticipate's good. Omniscience. It's like, oh, blue rare. Nope. Not that one. Uh, sorry, just fixing stuff here. Heroic Reinforcements, that would have been nice to open in the first pack. Or if we were doing that, the good stuff. Uh, another Apparatus, which we don't particularly want. Best kind of the pack is probably Leech's Caress. Or we can take the Highland Lake if we got to go to red. We haven't seen much red come around though. Maybe we take the Leech's Caress and just kind of keep our, our second colour option open. Blue-black is, is a solid colour. Yeah, let's take that. Uh, suspicious Bookcase, Frilled Sea Serpent, Snapping Drake. Uh, I think we just want to come up with some creatures here. Yeah, it's just a creature. Detection Tower is terrible. Uncomfortable Chill, I think, is good enough. Uh, there's nothing else here that really excites me. No. Metamorphic. This is one I've seen played a lot, and I've lost to multiple times. I don't think it's that good, but maybe we take it. Pegasus Course are obviously good normally. I'm going to try this. Like, I've just never had a chance to play it myself. I don't know how good it is. We only have five creatures at the moment, which is a little bit of a worry. That's including these three that we don't know if we're playing. So we really have two creatures at the moment. Awkward. Which is Snapping Draco in the speaker. Would love to pick up another Psychic Corrosion. Or the, the, the rare. Mill them out. Okay, we're just looking for cards, draw cards. Mess with Psychic Corrosion otherwise. Good cuts. Good cuts. Another metamorphic alteration. I definitely don't want another one. Uh, I guess a totally lost. It's not the worst card in the world. Works well with psychic corrosion. Put it on top of your library, mill it out from under you. We have a dwindle and totally lost to deal with their creatures. Anticipate divination, draw card, divination draws cards. Anticipate sets up our library. If you can the target of a spell and ability opponent controls, counter it unless they pay one. Oh, mana list a card we wouldn't hate. Um, take that effect. So it's kind of like this arrow is safe keeping. It's pretty bad. It'll come back. I think we'll take the mana list here. It doesn't do a lot for us, but maybe okay, if we start getting more of this, we can look at being multi more than two colours. Like it could be mono blue, splash, white, black. Uh, another Electrify is not the worst thing in the world to have. 
Blue dash. Well, I don't like. If you know me, if you know the way I play, I don't love counter spells, but just having one isn't the worst thing that you can have in the world. Plus, it draws a card. That's you know the all important draw a card line. Let's just make sure this chat's working. It's been playing up a little bit. Um, right, let's take this blue red land. Just did a testing. Uh, what are we seeing here? Why is that not working? Oh. There we go. That should fix that. Uh, what are we saying? We've got the Sea Serpent or a bookcase. Let's take the bookcase, it blocks, it's an artifact, and it may help us push a terrible card through for, uh, um, you know, stuff. <laughs> Line Break is a card we could play, Age of Dawn, not a card we're going to play. Trusty Pack Beast? Unlikely. So at this point, yeah, we could be like mono blue, light red. Just to help with that creature count. And double electrify isn't a bad thing to have. By any stretch. And a Plains. Alright, really love to open something great here on this pack three. Not another Isolate though. Salvage is good. Murder is obviously good, but I don't think we're going to be black. Well, I suppose. We cut the white, we go. We take the murder, we have the two black removal spells and the two red removal spells. They are double, which is a pain, but we can we can make it work. We can make it work. All right, let's take that pioneer here. It does give us an artifact. It doesn't trigger the ability on side, but it gives us an artifact to sacrifice at least. Uh, and it's just a body. Let's go sort by converted meta cost. Although having so few creatures here means it's not likely. Kind of do what the div. Actually, we'll have the divination because it's more likely. It's less likely to come back. So we are all in on this uh, psychic corrosion plan. By the way, sift. Yep, I'll take a sift. Another Lich's Caress, a Skeleton Archer, a Blood Letter. There's a lot of new cards in this pack, but I'm just taking a sift. We're probably a little bit too deep on this. Like, if we don't draw the Corrosions early, even if we do, <laughs> we're probably going to lose. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. We're here to have fun. We're here to do our stuff. That's why I went friendly, so we can still go 03 and still enjoy it. Just supply doesn't interest me. Wall of Mist, it's a defender, it's a 0 5 defender. That's kind of just what I want. Just a blocker that sits and holds the ball off until I can draw my melee cards and win. Love to replace this Scholar of Stars, but I don't think it's going to happen. A couple more artifacts wouldn't go astray. we we'll probably going to have to ditch this for a creature. Ravenous Harpy isn't going to do it for us. Rogue's Glove isn't good for us. Guess we're taking Explosive Apparatus. Not a good card, but Synergies. And it's two damage. And it's a shock for four. Like, you know. Definitely worst cards out there. <gasps> Millstone! Alright, we're taking Millstone. We're going super deep here. Millstone is a very bad mill card, but it is an artifact and it does tap. We've got a lot of instant speed stuff. Not that, not those. We've got some instant speed stuff. And maybe we can uh, 
If I can get a mill, if I can mill a person, I think I'm going to call it a win. It does say draw a card. That's, a, that's an important piece of text. We are too many creatures, too many spells now. This is tricky, I don't want to cut any artifacts. Maybe we cut the red. Skilled animator, does that work? Oh, Smash Brainyard though. There we go. Submerge Bay, that helps our mana I was a bit worried about splashing the double black, but that, that, that helps since we got that, Millstone. Sorry, not Millstone, Metalith. Savage or Shaker's not bad here. I think we probably cut the Snapping Drake. It's got draw a card on it, doesn't it? It sure does. Maybe it anticipates less than great in this kind of deck. We say as we take a second one. One, two, three, four. So we could go for four artifacts or five if we keep the apparatus in. It's kind of a big if right now. We're at 26, we need to cut. Two more cards, I guess. One more card, because we've got two lands. I doubt there's anything amazing coming around. Here we go to seven creatures, cut one of the scholars. Nothing. Um, Vogue the Divine, sure. Totally lost, sure. So we have, we have a good, solid amount of removal here. Another uncomfortable chill. That'll go nice against token decks if we decide to pull out the sideboard. Do we just get another wall mist? Yep. Alright, so let's sort our uh, converted mana cost and combine groups. Group each separately. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, so 26, so we don't need to make that many cuts. Let's have a look. So we've got mill plan, mill plan, the cards that draw cards also become part of the mill plan, mill plan, mill plan. So we've got removal, 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 removal. Maybe just cut window here. We've got five solid, we've got five awesome removal. We probably don't need the dwindle. Well, that is good. Basically, we just play our creatures, hope to draw. So I think our optimal play is going to be like Omen Speaker, into Psychic Corrosion, into Psy, Explosive Apparatus, play some artifacts, sacrifice them, play lands as we go, basically get the Psychic Corrosion value. I think that's kind of the best we can hope for. Alright, let's give it a whack. We can always mess with it. We are in the friendly leagues. Um, I guess we kind of want like... 
10, 2, and 3. Uh, can we go 9, 4, and we can go like. That's still 10 sources of blue. 8. No, that's not. What about that's not 15 lens? It's not 17 lens, is it? 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Uh, can go like this. This gives us 5 black sources for our 2 black spells. We get 6 black so let's, let's go to 9. Because it's five black and red sources and 20 million blue sources. 